Welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday morning. Most weeks, Wednesdays are kind of like my Tuesdays. Some weeks they're like my Mondays. It's my first work day of the week at the salon. Ah, things aren't going great so far this morning. I'm running around like a chicken with my head chopped off and um, I gotta go. I'm running a little bit late. Luckily today I just have one client and then I have a bunch of errands that I need to run after. And my client this morning is one of my really good friends. So it kind of worked out that this morning is a little crazy because even if I am a little bit late, it's not the end of the world because she, we're, we're friends. <sighs> oh my God, my cat, what the fuck? Hold on, I have to go let her inside. Oh. Okay, let's go. Right on time. But you know me, right on time is still late. <laughs> on this day, I was doing my friend Kelly's hair and she just came in to get her roots touched up. So I use a permanent color on her and I mix equal parts 6R and 7R with 20 volume. It was super quick and easy. Every so often I'll refresh her ends too if they need it, but this time we just did her roots and this was her finished hair. I just love that shine oh my god so beautiful i finished with work and i just ran into home goods as you can see behind me i had something that i needed to return um but it was past the return date so i wasn't sure if they would let me return it so i figured i would get some things and just like do an exchange it was just overwhelming there was so much to look at and they have so much good stuff all of their christmas decor is out and they just have a lot like the store is super super full right now it was so tempting like there's just so much cute stuff that i was like oh my god i want that i want that i want that it would just be so perfect for my apartment but i know there's no sense in me getting it now because i'm not gonna have room to like you know fit in the car when i'm packing everything up and there is a home goods i'm pretty sure where i'm moving so i just need to wait but i got benny some dog toys every few months i need to like replace his toys because he either chews them up and stuffing goes all over the place or they just get like really gross and disgusting and they're so cheap at home goods you can find like really nice dog toys for like five bucks anyway my next stop is the vet i had dropped off a form last week that the vet needed to just sign off for my apartment just like verifying that benny is like up to date on all of his shots and everything so they called me and said that that is ready to get picked up so i'm gonna go get that and then i'm gonna go to the tattoo shop because i got my tragus pierced a long time ago like over a year ago and the earring that i currently have in it is like really really big and the post is extra long because while it was healing it would kind of get a little swollen and it needed a bigger piece of jewelry so that it had like more room to breathe and expand and swell and all of that during the healing process but now it's completely healed and this giant earring drives me nuts my hair gets caught in it all the time um, and because it's so long in the back i cannot put earbuds in at all in this ear so i want to go and change it out for a smaller earring and i like for the life of me cannot get this out anyway by myself i like can't get a good grip in the back so i figure i need to go there to have the guy take it out for me anyway so i may as well just like buy the new jewelry there and have him replace it for me good afternoon thank you for calling coconut peak veterinary center this is megan speaking how may i help you hi i'm here to pick up a form that i had filled out by the doctor i'll let them know that you're here and they'll be out with you okay perfect thank you so much thank you, hello it is many hours later here is my new piece of jewelry don't mind my skin i need to do an update on what's been going on with my hormones and everything since getting off of birth control because my skin hasn't been terrible but what i've noticed is i tend to break out like crazy right when i'm about to get my period and then once my period is over it's like all the breakouts start to just slowly go away so that's what i'm dealing with here but here is the new piece of jewelry i don't know how well you can see it i do have a little bit of a keloid bump which i didn't even notice was there because the other earring was so big that it just covered it completely and i honestly couldn't even tell 
um, but he told me to just make sure that I'm cleaning it really well and just put some tea tree oil on it every night before bed and then clean it off really good in the morning and after like a week it should go away because he said it's not that bad but it is definitely noticeable now and it's not the cutest thing but that should hopefully go away. I've gotten keloids tons of times. Um, I had one on my conch piercing, but that's like completely gone away now. Um, I had my nose pierced two different times when I was in college and I got keloid bumps on that, but I have no scar at all now. So I'm not too worried about that. I know that will eventually heal. But yeah, and then that inspired me to just kind of like swap out some of my other earrings when I got home. I just put in a couple hoops. I already had all of this jewelry, but these huggies in the third hole are from Ana Luisa. These hoops in the middle are from Piercing Pagoda. And then these larger hoops in my first hole are also Ana Luisa. Um, but yeah, today was just one of those days where I was catching up on things that weren't like urgent, but they had just kind of been things that I've been meaning to get around to for a really long time and it feels good to like finally knock that off of my to-do list and especially with my move coming up soon I'm moving officially in five weeks from today which sounds like a lot of time but I know it's gonna go by quickly because the last couple of months since signing my lease have just flown by so I'm trying to like stay on top of everything I need to do and not like procrastinate too much because I know before I know it, December is going to be here and then I'm going to be like stressed and overwhelmed with a lot to do. So I'm trying to just like get everything done that I've been needing to do. Um, and at this point, I think there's only maybe three things that I still need to do. I mean, obviously I need to pack and all of that stuff. But as far as like scanning and emailing over the paperwork from the vet today to the apartment, figuring out what internet provider I'm gonna use, and just like little things like that. So yeah, I'm going to wash my face and get ready for bed. Then tomorrow is gonna be one of my later days at the salon. I don't go in until 2.30, and then I'm gonna have two clients. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, it's the next day. I am getting ready to head to work. I have to leave in about 15-ish minutes. I had a pretty like slow, lazy morning, but then once it was time for me to get up and start getting ready for work, I just still felt very lazy. So it's always tough. I do really like the days where I go into work later because I'm not a morning person and I really hate having to wake up early and then just immediately start getting ready and leave. I like being able to take my time, you know, make my coffee, kind of sit around, not be in a rush to go anywhere. But then at the same time, I feel like on those days, I end up just feeling like lazy and then it's like the more time that goes by, the less I want to actually go out and leave the house. So that's where I'm at right now. I know once I get there though, like it'll be fine, it'll be good. But it's just, I think because it's like really cold out today too and it's kind of cloudy. Ugh, like I'd rather just stay home in my pajamas in bed, you know? So this is one of my regular clients. She's been coming to me for a few years now and we've always made her some variation of blonde. So I was very surprised and caught off guard when she said she wanted to go dark. So I mixed 5NN with 5NB and just a little like pea size of 7C for her formula. If you've been watching my salon vlogs and you probably know I say this all the time, anytime you're making a blonde, a dark brown, you always need to add some warmth back in their hair to fill the hair. Otherwise, you're going to get a really flat dingy color so that's why I added that 7c into the formula so the goal was to get her as close to her natural color as we could but she still wanted it to be dimensional so that's why I'm going through with foils I just did a bunch of like thick weaves and slices she just had a baby last year so that's why she just wanted something that was going to be more low maintenance so yeah I just kind of visualized where I wanted to keep some of the dimension and then I did a gloss. I don't remember the formula, but I know it was a warm level six from Redken Shades EQ. And I just applied that to the pieces that I left out between the foils. And then this was her final hair. 
it looked so beautiful. You can see how nice and rich it is and the nice dimension that she has. This is going to be so much more low maintenance and easy for her. I'm in our back color room currently. My first client went really well. I now have an extra hour until my next appointment. So I ran over to Starbucks to get a little coffee. And I wanted to share this little hack. I love an iced dirty chai latte. But if you order an iced dirty chai, it's super, super expensive. So what I have been doing is I get espresso over ice. And depending on how strong you want, I usually do um, four shots in a grande cup. But obviously you could do less or you could do more. And then I just add a few pumps of chai. The chai at Starbucks is literally just a syrup. And if you get a chai latte, it's super expensive. But if you just add a few pumps of chai syrup to your drink, it's only 60 cents. So I got four shots of espresso over ice in a grande cup, added four pumps of chai, and then a splash of half and half. And you can customize it, you know, if you like yours to be a little bit less strong and you want less of a coffee taste, obviously do less shots of espresso, you could do more or less pumps of chai, whatever you want, but it just ends up coming out so much cheaper when you do it that way. This was under $4. Whereas if I ordered it the traditional way, it would have been probably like, seven so yeah wanted to share that little hack with you but yeah i'm just gonna sit on my phone do some instagram stuff till my next client gets here good morning guys see today was one of those days where i just got up had my coffee but then i immediately started getting ready and i didn't lay in bed on my phone so that little bit of energy that i have to actually like put a little makeup on I'm trying to ride that wave. I think what I need to start doing is like get in the habit of when I get up, just come straight to the bathroom, close the door and not leave the bathroom until I'm like pulled together. Not necessarily like full face of makeup every day, but you know, just like get ready for the day. So that way, even if I don't have to immediately leave the house, to go somewhere, even if I have that time to like lay around and be lazy, at least I'm already pulled together. And then that way my uh, laziness and or depression can't get the best of me. It just always gets hard, especially in the winter time because it's just so cold and my body does not respond well to cold. Even if it's the middle of summer, but the air conditioner is like cranked all the way up and it's cold in the room, can't do it. And then with the way that it's like so cloudy and gloomy usually in the winter time, if you have seasonal depression, you, I know you totally get what I'm saying. And I really envy people who don't deal with depression at all and are just like, you know, can just function all the time. Anyway, today I am taking the day off. I am heading to well, I'm not going to be in Philly, technically. I'm going to be right outside of Philadelphia. But I'm going to Ikea and the King of Prussia Mall. I ordered a couple things from Ikea that I'm going to be picking up for my apartment. Because there isn't an Ikea down there where I'm moving, unfortunately. And some things are just so much cheaper at Ikea. You just can't beat the price. So for me, it's worth getting it now while I'm here and just bringing it down with me. And then I am meeting one of my best friends at the mall. With her job, they have her moving to different cities all the time. Now she's actually moving up to Albany, New York. So she's going in the opposite direction as I am. So I don't know when's the next time that I'm going to see her. And then I do want to possibly get a new laptop. I normally edit my videos on my iMac desktop computer, but for a while now I've been thinking, oh, it would be so nice to have a laptop because the days that I'm at the salon and I have an annoying break between clients like I did yesterday or even this past Saturday, I had a two hour gap in my schedule. There's times like that where I'm like, if I had a laptop, 
this would be a great opportunity for me to get work done and do some editing because then I feel like by the time I get home at the end of the day, I'm just tired and I don't want to have to then sit at my desktop computer and do work, you know? Especially with me moving to a new city, I know for the first couple of months until I start, you know, taking care of clients again, I'm just going to be spending a lot of time at home in my apartment. So if I have a laptop, that'll be a good excuse for me to like go out and do work in other places like just go to a restaurant or a cafe or something and just sit down get some work done or bring my laptop to the beach I just feel like it'll help me be more productive and I'm really excited because Apple actually just came out with new laptops that are more similar to the older models like my old one that I had from college which I just like better I definitely want to get it they're just really expensive so <laughs> I don't know there is an Apple store at the mall that I'm going to so I'm gonna go take a look it's many hours later I just got home. I went to Ikea, picked up my order. It was super easy. I had already ordered and paid for everything online, so I just had to like pull up, let them know I was there, and they loaded everything in the car for me, which was really nice. I'm very excited. Not looking forward to having to put it all together, but I'm just really excited. I have like an idea in my mind of like how I want to decorate everything. But I also ended up getting some things from the mall while I was there. I went to H&M and Zara. And then I did go to the Apple store. I did end up getting the laptop. I still have it in the bag. Um, so I'm gonna open that up. So first I got two things from Zara. The first one is just a basic cropped t-shirt, but it's a really nice thick material that's like super flattering. It just kind of like contours your body a little bit. I got a little bit of deodorant on it when I was trying it on. And then I got this cropped sweater which is a really really soft nice material but it's not like too heavy or bulky where I feel like I'll be completely dying and sweating in it so I feel like even down south it'll work in the winter time and then from H&M I got this little button-up shirt which I love button-up shirts like this with the v-neck because I just feel like it is so flattering I saw this oversized t-shirt Lord knows I don't need any more oversized t-shirts, but this was only 10 bucks and I thought that it would be perfect for lounging around the house, uh, whereas a sleep shirt or in the summertime, you know, I love an oversized t-shirt with just some bike shorts. I got this black sweater. It's pretty oversized, so I got a small and I honestly could have even gone down to an extra small because it's just like really loose and stretchy. I realized recently that I only have one black sweater and it has a whole bunch of like rips on the side so I just wanted like a plain black one and then I got this turtleneck knit sweater which might be a little bit too thick for down south but you know if there's like a, a real cold day I get cold very easily so for me I, I'd rather have too much on and be a little bit hot than you know not have on enough and be cold and I have this sweater actually in two other colors and I love it so much I just think it's just so cute and it just looks so cozy and I just wanted it in a neutral so I just got this like oatmeal kind of color and then the last thing I got is this scrunchie which was like a really you know last minute thing I saw it when I was in line um, but it's like a sweater material and it just looked so cute. So that was everything that I got clothing wise. Um, now I want to open up my laptop. Uh, oh my god, so fancy. They literally have a tab to peel the plastic off. So you don't have to like cut into it with your nail or anything. Oh. It's just, these things are so satisfying. It feels like Christmas morning. Oh my god, so cute.
Bye. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Can you even see him with the glare? Whenever I'm leaving and he has to stay home, he always just runs to that window so he can watch me leave. I was trying to hook up my car mount, but I think the windshield is just too cold. It wouldn't stick. Um, but hello, good morning. It is Wednesday. I have one client today. There are some days where I have people booked for smaller appointments and I'll have multiple people back to back all day and I could have you know, up to like four clients in one day or some days if it's a really big appointment, like a color correction or like a full head kind of thing, a big transformation, um, I'll only have the one client. So, you know, it kind of varies day to day, but today I just have the one client and then after work, I'm going to get a wax. That's pretty much it. That's my plan for today. I gotta leave now. I was doing really good on time and now I'm like five minutes late. <laughs> I'll see you at the salon. This client was one of my regulars and she just wanted to get her blonde brought up higher but still keep it nice and dimensional at the root. So I did a full foil on her. It took a while because her hair is really thick but it was pretty easy and straightforward and this is what her finished hair looked like. Why is that so zoomed in? Oh, this lighting, what is happening here? I just finished with my client. We ended up doing a full foil and a haircut, um, styling her, all of that. It took about four hours all together from start to finish, including like, you know, styling and taking pictures and all of that. I have my wax at 4.15 and it is now almost 2.30. So I still have a lot of time to kill. So what does one do when they have time to kill? Go to Target. So that's what I'm going to do. I do have something that I want to return there anyway, but I'm just going to go there, walk around, kill some time, get some Starbucks. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I don't even remember the last thing that I vlogged. So yeah, I think this vlog is just going to end up being like a compilation of like my last few weeks at work leading up to the move because... I just feel like I've been picking up the camera, recording a little here and there, but I haven't been recording like consecutive days or being consistent. I'm just holding you up as I'm driving to work right now because again, it is absolutely freezing and I figured my car mount probably won't stick to the windshield again anyway. And either way, I didn't have time to mess with it, but I have two clients today at the salon. My first one, I actually just did her hair like two or three weeks ago we made her pretty blonde but it was the lightest that she had ever been and she was really nervous about it so i left a lot of her natural dark root out just so that she would still like feel like herself and she could like ease into it without it being too much of a shock to her and i'm so glad that i did that because she ended up really loving it and now she wants to go even lighter and she just wants to bring everything up and do less of a root oh okay my arm was getting tired. I took a two week break from working out because my trainer was out of town. And this week, Monday, I started working out again. And now, because I took that break, I am so sore. And we did some upper body stuff yesterday and like my arms just feel like absolute jello. So even just holding up this camera feels super heavy. So anyway, um, and then my second client is just um, like a gray root touch up and it's gonna be a little bit sad because today actually makes three weeks exactly from the day that I move so I'm getting down to the point where I'm having like my last appointments with all of my clients both of my clients today are regulars of mine that I've known for several years now and it's sad because this is gonna be my last time doing their hair Hi, Bella. I completely forgot to get a before clip of her hair, but this was the after. Just brought the blonde up higher and toned her a little bit ashier. Good morning. It's Friday. I just got out of the shower and my skin was so dry, especially my face. So I took the thickest moisturizer that I have. It's like a first aid beauty one. 
and I slathered it all over my face. It was so thick, like my whole face was completely white. I put it on like a face mask, and this is how dry my skin is, that just in the few minutes it took me to find my camera, my skin has already absorbed a lot of the moisturizer. I'm gonna let that continue absorbing and then I'll just like rub in whatever's left and then if it still feels really dry, I might put a second layer. But anyway, I have work today at the salon at 12. It's about 10 o'clock now. So I still have a little bit of time. Finally washed my hair, it feels so good. I can't even remember the last time I washed it or the last time I brushed it because for the past several days, I was just wearing it in a ponytail and a bun and I wasn't even like taking it out and brushing it in between. I was just kind of like redoing my ponytails. I had like a lot of shedding because it was just hair that like naturally had shed throughout that period. But because I wasn't brushing it, it was just all like stuck in there and all tangled up and oh, it was gross. So anytime I wash my hair, I just brush through it and then I just leave it and I let it air dry as much as possible before I start blow drying it. That way I'm applying less heat to it and it also just makes the whole blowout so much faster. I am going to have some coffee and some breakfast because then once I go to work, I have like a pretty packed day today and I'm not going to be done until like around seven o'clock. So definitely wanna make sure that I eat something first. Look at that. All of the moisturizer got absorbed. I didn't even have to rub it in. I just realized the date and I remembered that Adele's new album came out today. Finally, the full thing. I've been listening to Easy On Me, like, on repeat, and I'm sick of it already. <laughs> so I'm going to play this while I do my hair. Oh my god, I'm so excited. By the way, I have all of my plants in the bathroom. It's a mess, okay? I'm waiting because I'm just going to pack all this shit up anyway, so I'm like, whatever. Um... But the bathroom is like the warmest, most humid room in the house. The rest of the rooms are a little bit drafty, so I've just been keeping all of my plants in here so that they don't die. So yeah, it's a little bit of a jungle in here. Here's my outfit. If you guys remember, I think it was my last vlog, I had ordered a pair of jeans from Abercrombie. I think they were like the 90s curvy jean or something like that. And... I was saying how I liked them and I liked the fit and everything but there was just something about them that I didn't love and they were like 70 something dollars so I was like eh. I ended up going to the store to return them and while I was there I was looking in the clearance section and I randomly pulled these jeans out and I was like oh it literally was like fate like sisterhood of the traveling pants type of moment. I pulled these off the rack just tried them on in the fitting room and they literally were a perfect like they are my perfect pair of jeans so anyway wearing those abercrombie this sweater is i think from h&m it's really old and then i'm wearing my steve madden boots and i'm gonna throw a leather jacket on top of this let me grab it i got this last spring in the clearance section again at h&m there's my outfit i'm feeling good having clean freshly styled hair and I how far did I get oh it wasn't even playing I think I was listening to the Adele album and it was shuffling through the songs it wasn't even playing them in order so I don't even know how many I listened to so far maybe like five songs out of 12 so far I don't know how I feel yet I have yet to come across a song that I'm like oh my god I love this song I need to play it again you know I haven't listened to the whole thing yet so it, it's I, I, I can't give my full opinion just yet. Today I have one of my friends. I don't know what he wants to do. Last time I did his hair, which was a couple months ago, we had did like a split color. So on one half we did like a wine red and then the other half we did rose gold. So I'm curious to see how that's looking now, like how it's faded and what he wants to do next. Then I also have a consultation after him, then a color retouch then a haircut after that. Okay, update on the Adele album. The song, Oh My God. I think that's my favorite one. That's one I can play on repeat. But I just got to work. I stopped on my way here to a local bakery. I got a couple cupcakes because Sunday is our receptionist's birthday. And she actually, she's only been 
working as a receptionist here for the last couple of months, but she has been like my boss's friend and longtime client. And I've known her basically since I started working here three and a half years ago. So I wanted to just get her a little something. And then I went to Starbucks. I got an Irish cream cold brew, which I've never tried before, actually. I love the pumpkin cream cold brew. And I've heard that this is really, really good. So I imagine I'm gonna like it, but Let's uh, do a first impression sip. Mm hmm. That is really good. I don't know if I would order it all the time. Like, I don't think that's going to be my go to drink, but it is, it, it's very good. All right, I am gonna go in now. So this is what we were starting out with. Like I said, last time we had did like a two-tone color. So on one half of his head, I had did a permanent wine red. And then on the other side, I had bleached it and then did a semi-permanent color. So to kind of like pull out as much of that excess color as I could, I did a Malibu CPR treatment. It's just a clarifying treatment. Put it under a processing cap under heat for about 30 minutes. And it did pull out a little bit um, and prepped the hair for lightening, which is great. And then I did lightener with 20 volume to lighten his roots. And I also pulled it through the ends just to kind of like brighten up the ends a little bit more. And this is what it looked like after that. So I decided to use Pulp Riot, which is just like a direct deposit semi-permanent fashion color. And the half that had the wine red, because it didn't quite get light enough, it was still pretty warm. I wanted to make sure I was doing a dark enough color that it would fully cover. So we did this dark navy blue on that side and then this bright neon blue on the lighter side. I'm obsessed. I love it. It just, he's so cool and it just suits his style so well. And then my last client of the day came in for a haircut. This is what her hair looked like before. And she wanted to cut the back pretty short and have it be inverted. So shorter in the back, longer in the front. And this was her finished hair. Good morning, heading to work. Here's my outfit, same jeans as yesterday. Sweater from H&M. And these shoes are a couple years old from Target. This rug. Benny loves to run up and down this hallway. And then the rug slides around. There we go. Ooh, it is cold. It's Saturday. My last work day of the week at the salon and I'm really looking forward to the weekend. Today should be a pretty easy day though. I have one client in the morning that is coming in for a color retouch. I need to remember to wear my apron for that though because she does a like coppery red color and I definitely don't want to stain my sweater. I, I thought about it and I was like I should have probably worn dark clothes today but I already was dressed at that point so I think hopefully I'll be good fingers crossed I'll wear my apron and I'll be careful and then my friend is coming in and I think we're just adding like some highlights doing a little bit of a balayage I don't know she's like one of my best friends that I've known since middle school and she's the biggest pain in my ass <laughs> she's just like always wants to change her hair, never knows what she wants, is always like indecisive. She's my second and last client of the day. It'll just be fun like hanging out with her. And then afterwards you might go get dinner or something like that, early dinner, late lunch. I, I don't know, I just, I'm starting to kind of feel a little bit burnt out. It's like the little bit of like stress and anxiety that I have knowing that like I have to move soon and there's still stuff that I need to do on top of still working. It doesn't really, there's no reason for it to be that stressful, but I think I'm just kind of like stressing myself out when I shouldn't. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the weekend. And then after today, I'm only gonna have two weeks left of work. And actually next week is Thanksgiving, so it's not even gonna be a full week. I'm gonna head to the salon now though. I'm gonna bring you along, I'll get some clips in case I forget to close out this vlog later. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. My next vlog will be part one of my moving vlogs. And also happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. I hope you get to enjoy some time with friends, family, or even just some alone time. I'm gonna head to the salon now. I will see you there.
Look at these pajamas. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Unbelievable. So here's what her hair looked like before. We had did a demi-permanent color on her a few months back and at this point most of it had faded and the goal was to just do like a really warm golden balayage. So I freehand painted a few panels throughout her hair, toned with Redken Shade DQ 7NW and 7G I want to say and this was her final hair. Thanks so much for the assistance Chloe.